Once again, welcome. We are we are here at part five of Gone Home Bannet Druid's playthrough let's play thing of Gone Home. Um, recap, we have uh, explored a good chunk of the house. We started at the front where we found a couple locked doors. Found a good bunch of information. Sister seems to have run away, making new friends, uh, listen to punk rock, sneaking out of the house. Dad and Mum are having issues. Mum might be sleeping with a guy named Rick at work, and Dad's hit the bottle pretty hard. You go to Europe, and the whole house falls apart. So we're here in the sitting room, and we have an unexplored door. We're going to go through and see if uh, we can find some answers. Oh, this room is just decidedly creepy. I don't care for this at all. Ha! <laughs> Okay, this is funny for a couple reasons. One, romance novels make me giggle. Two, I forget his name, but that looks like the guy who played Princess Bride. His head is superimposed on top of that lumberjack's body, which makes it pretty awesome. Yeah, okay. Hello, lamp. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and it was something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it hid Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh, really? Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Good to know. We will have to go investigate that soon. Heaven to Betsy's. Shy away for Sam. Don't look here. Well, I already did, so... Nah. Captain Legren first me. Your costume, my costume. That's pretty awesome. A little bit of cosplay going on for your own fan fiction. I suppose it's not fan fiction, your own writing. It's a pretty old school sewing table. Alright, important information has been found. We must go investigate Secret Tunnel. Maybe. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Well, red lights are on. Door's locked. We can't get in anyways. So, let's go ahead to the secret passage, which was in Mom and Dad's closet. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is super creepy. I wish I had a flashlight. Whoa. Ghost Hunters, Sam and Honey, Secret House Investigation. Hidden compartments found. Three. One in the library, one in the upstairs hall, and one in the foyer. Hmm. Evidence of the supernatural discovered zero. The search continues. Okay, well. Oh, God, the storm. No matter how much any of you ever ask, I will never do horror games. I am so jumpy and terrible at that stuff. Alright, well. That's horrible. I want to read this and I don't like the lights going out. For God, so his only son loved the world and he gave. Creepy. Creepy, 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 creepy. Okay, where was the first hidden panel? In the library. Over here. A 
At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. <laughs> 51. Stop at full turn passing first, number second. Uh, it would be good to find the other half of that. Ah, yes, the half of the locker combo. Now, this has the same title at the, uh, as the other one. So I'm gonna skim over it for some useful information, but I think it's the same story just told at a much later time with better writing. And flung her saber at the Amazon reaching hand. So the first night screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down and all was eerily silent. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, and the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet. But as the figure stood and water poured over him, in fact, he was looked back at as a woman, still in first mate's clothes, still in first mate's. He, she spoke in a soft, clear voice, Captain. Belt and the crew readied their swords, they gathered into the queen's eyes, and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Oh. That could be telling that Sam has changed the story of her uh, her story to the girl. Yeah, it was the same time she found Lonnie and they started getting close. So the second last hidden passage is over here. That's the whole locker combo. I'll look at that in a moment. A Ouija board. I have not played with one of these in years. Oh man, put that over there. Hello? Hello, who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? So it looks like they tried to make contact with Oscar. He <laughs> said he wants to come back. He wants to come back. He wants to. Yep, that's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, uh, the first number. Oh, it's zero five zero one. Five zero. Oh, somebody's in trouble. I will give her hell for that. That's Lonnie. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... 
And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> well, it's becoming clear that our young sister is finding her sexuality and finding her first girlfriend. Which is cool, good for her. But she also seems to be smoking and stealing, which is less good. Now, we just found a basement key. I don't know where the basement actually is. It might be one of the rooms in the foyer, so... We can go take a peek at that. There was two locked doors down on the main floor. This one, and then one down the hall. So it's not that one. basement with no light switches it's kind of weird that my sister found all this stuff and then locked it away in her locker without telling anybody Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but I was pretty funny. But it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours and close friends and confidant, Lonnie D. Quart. Dear Mrs. DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you, kind, for being such a gracious host for the festivities at your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family Thanksgiving feast was more enjoyable than the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with a uh, sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again sometime next year, shall we? Indeed. Madam Samantha Green. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Well then. Hey, it's my plaque. I had one of these upstairs. Or Sam had one of those upstairs. Opposed to my sister, who very creatively changed this assignment, I put it down word for word. Guess we know who the creative one is. Alright guys, I see a room to a big, giant, ugly boiler room. Um, it's the next place to go, but we're coming to that time again where it's about ready to stop the video. So we're going to call it here, and we will pick up for video... Uh, what are we at now? Six? Video six in the next one. Uh, again, thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe the video. It helps me out immensely. Have yourselves a great uh, evening, day, morning, whenever you happen to be watching this. We'll talk to you later. Thanks very much. Bye.